All right, people. So uh, more phages are off of daily duels. So deck profile, and also you got a second daily duels with me playing with the deck that I'll be replacing it on Mondays, being Buster Blader. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't already. Anyway, uh, more phages. This deck is so luck based. It really is. Either you open up fantastically and lock down your opponent, or you open up like poop and you do nothing. And and I didn't like it when it did that. You know, I, I had a handful of duels. So I was just like, "Woo, I got the titties." And then other duels just like, "Oh my god, I got fucking trash. I got nothing." My opponent breaks my my pendulum scales, or they break themselves. I got nothing, and I just straight up just lose. So. I don't think this deck is going to be that competitive. If you want to play some kind of good lockdown deck, I definitely play Monarchs. Even they're more consistent than Amorph Ages. Not saying something because even Monarchs have consistent issues, but ugh. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the deck profile. So, uh, simply put, three of every Amorph Age. I have to play every Amorph Age because I got to make sure that I always have Monsters Dependent Summon, always have my scales ready, always have everything prepared. Uh, I was playing other things, but I sided against it because they would just get in the way, you know? Um, I was running the, the, the Draco engine, but then I was like, well, I'd rather just have my Morphages in the Pendulum scale because they have pretty good, uh, Pendulum effects that are good at negating, and, uh, yeah, but I guess I'll go over it. So, this guy, while I control with your Monster Media Player, can, uh, uh, activate cards or effects in a chain, not bad, uh, but you have to run three of them, and at this point, it's debatable whether you have to run three of everybody, but I wanted to make sure that I got off my Morphage play, so that's why I'm running three of everybody, but... If you don't want to run three of everybody, what I'm going to tell you right now is you have to run three of all the level fours. Because your pendulum scales are between five and three. You pendulum summon your fours, you tribute off your fours, you pendulum summon your fours, run some repeat. So you have to run all the fours. So even if you don't like his pendulum scale effect, you have to run him because he's a level four. Uh, uh, 2,500, I mean 2,500, uh, 2,050 booty for a level four, that's pretty impressive. And all of them, all of my favorite have the same effect. If, if they're pendulum summon or, or flip face up, neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck. Except for more phase monsters, but nah. Uh, I don't think there's any what, in, the, in the extra deck uh, that are like XCs or synchros like that. So just turn them some back from the extra deck. Your monsters because they're pendulum based monsters. So yeah, you have to run three of him. Uh, this guy, he negates spells while he's in the pendulum scale, so he's good, but he's just two, so um, you can't pendulum summon him, which sucks. And uh, if he goes to the extra deck, you have no way to pendulum summon him back. But because he negates spells, he's good. Uh, this guy, he negates monster effects, but same problem. Same problem, just level two. It's, it, it's a serious problem. It really is in this deck. It definitely is. But uh, negating all monster effects except for more pages, these guys don't really activate effects. So just uh, pretty much a skill drain? Sure. Lock it down. Uh, you, this guy. This guy, he's bigger than the Pendulum Scale, so you're not going to be Pendulum Summoning him. You're going to be, you know, Pendulum Summoning. And if you feel like it, tributing him uh, for, to summon him, which is actually pretty good. Uh, and uh, this guy... Uh, he banishes? Yeah, he banishes. So, if he's a pendulum scale, he's a macro, which is pretty good. And his effect, monster effect's a little bit different. So, instead of being like, well, pendulum summon or flip summon, he's just like, hey, while I'm on the field, he's a perk special summon for the extra deck. Because it's, you're not going to be pendulum summoning him, and you're not going to be, you shouldn't be flip summoning him, especially with that zero booty. Like, no. So, they just decide to give him just a straight up effect. So, uh, he's your beater. He's the guy that, if you can't beat over with him, you aren't being over with anybody. But, uh, he's just another five. I tried to keep it balanced with that. Uh, generally play him in pendulum scale, and uh, if he gets popped, they'll, uh, either he's gone, or I'll have one other card to bring him back, which I'll go into detail. Uh, Hyper, he's probably the go-to monster when it comes to pendulum summon. Uh, 1750 attack is nice. A nice, decent beater. Um, when it's a pendulum scale, neither player can, uh, neither player takes effect damage while you control more from my It's kind of meh, but you're not going to be putting him in a scale unless you absolutely have to. You're going to be pendulum summoning him, because he's a level 4, 1750 beater. Uh, then we have this other guy, Olga. Uh, Neo player can tribute monsters. Pretty good against monarchs or something, but still, you run three of him because he's level four. We already talked about that. Uh, plus, uh, Neo player can activate trap cards. This guy is really great as well. Uh, 1950 booty, level four, so it's exactly where you want him. And he's in Pedro scale. Your opponent, uh, Neo player can activate trap, so that's great as always. And uh, yeah, so he just fits all the requirements for being one of the best ones. And of course, you run three of him, level four. And three Nortis. Uh, he's kind of like a Thunder King Rider. Neither player can add cards from the deck to your hand except by drawing them. Uh, it kind of hurts sometimes because I'll play some cards that add from my deck to my hand by searching. But most of the time, it's drawing, so I don't mind him. You generally put him in the Pendulum Scale. He also is one of them where it's like, you know, neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck while he's on the field. So, uh, uh, so you don't have to worry about... Uh, uh, flip summoning him or pendulum summoning him because he's level 6. I told you, your shit's between 
Five and three, so that's all you're going to be summoning is four. It's just interesting that I made it like that. But once again, you run more of him because three. And all the Morphager's monsters, 24 monsters, Pendulum scales equal on both sides, and you just hope that you get lucky with your opening hand. Run three is a continuous spell. This card's great. Um, activating multiple of them, getting that search when you tribute, it's just awesome. Or, did, or is it just when you destroy a battle by card effect, you get a search? Just wonderful. Uh, I was trying to figure out the ratio with the field spells. The field spell is very important, you know. Uh, getting that 300 extra attack and defense is nice. And being able to, at the twice per turn, when you trigger off a former phase monster, you get to draw. It's great too. But the problem is, is that this deck is really tight with what you want to draw and what you, want to, what you don't want to draw. If you draw too many field spells, then you open up crap, you know. If you open up with two spells, that's crap. So I was trying to find a balance. I think the right balance for me, in my opinion, is two field spells, one terraforming. Number generates the terraforming, make sure that you get it. Get that field spell going and... You know, tribute off your monsters and draw. That's pretty much what you're doing. Build up resources, lock down your opponent, and beat them to death. Simple as that. Uh, two ignite reloads, because sometimes you get too many threes or too many fives, or you just don't get the right thing. Shuffle them back and uh, draw. I really like this card. I was running it three in Cleaves, but it this this card it clogged it clogged. And while Cleaves can probably risk it, they're you know more of a control slower based deck. This deck can't. So I dropped down to two because it was clogging. And uh, it helps, it helps. It's not the greatest of cards at times, but it does help. So that's why I'm into it. And look at all these Pendle based monsters. I mean, uh, even out Magical Mallet for when you get some shitty hands. Not bad, not bad. Open it up, three upstart gums, three reckless greeds. Uh, uh, just, if I draw into this, fine, play it, draw, and let me see my next card. This is sometimes, especially in this deck, that's what I want to do. I want to see that next card. So, yeah. And this, I really don't care. As long as my, my pendulum scales are up and I'm in control of duel, I don't care if I can't draw. Because I'll probably be drawing off my field spell, so let's hold it up. Reckless, and especially if you can get that triple Reckless, like, whoo, winning, Charlie's Teen style. And then the last card to Pendulum Reborn. Especially summon one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck or your graveyard. You're generally not going to be summoning from the graveyard because they generally don't hit the graveyard, but god, they will hit the extra deck. Either because you tribute them off or they're broken in scale. So you can put this guy in your Pendulum Scale, then his effect, he'll get broken by himself. Uh, because during your standby phase you must tribute a monster or destroy this card that all of them say that so uh, You can put him in pendant scale. He gets broken and then revive him back uh, out of the extra deck 27 beer Let's go. You need a player can special some monsters from the extra deck So uh, this card is also kind of cloggy at three so it's another card at three, but still pretty good uh, This card doesn't do anything with the extra deck because you can only special summon more face monsters out of the extra deck and there's no synchro exceeds like that and yeah, that's it. So, uh, quick deck profile. A little bit longer than I was ho expecting, but still not bad. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and play the deck, more power to you, but it's so luck-based. It's just not even funny. So good luck to you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that this deck was on Daily Duels, and I hope that you guys enjoyed me playing it. So, like I said, if you haven't checked out me playing Buster Blader for Mondays for the next upcoming month, be sure to. Uh, keeping Daily Duels nice and fresh by rotating things out and getting your guys' input is always great. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah. Uh, see you guys tomorrow with another deck profile and another new deck being added daily goals. Thanks for watching.